Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited for this one, but we'll get into that. Folks, it is a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yam around about for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, you better believe I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Mega Ran shirt. I've worn this one in a number of videos already. I love Mega Ran. If you are not familiar with the artist known as Mega Ran, also goes by random, hence Mega Ran. Uh, he is a hip-hop artist, uh, previously a teacher. Like, that was his profession for a number of years. Um, he's, I absolutely love his stuff. He works mostly in sort of the subgenre of hip-hop, which is commonly referred to as nerdcore. Sometimes chiptunes. There's a few different monikers, but I usually go with nerdcore. And if you're not familiar with that particular subgenre, it's basically rap and hip-hop that focuses mostly on kind of like nerdy stuff, you know? So, video games, anime, uh, you know, basically D&D, &D, all that kind of stuff falls under that category. As I'm a huge nerd myself, I had a particular kinship when I first ran into that genre. And then, even more so with Mega Ran himself, because... He's obviously, you know, got a Mega Man influence, and I fucking love Mega Man. It's one of my favorite video game franchises. I have been extremely fortunate enough to have seen him perform a number of times. I have videos of almost every time I've seen him perform, except for, like, maybe, the, definitely not the first one. I don't even think I had a, a smartphone at that point. But he's been doing it for years now. He is extremely successful at what he does. He's always pumping out new music and stuff. And it's not all nerdcore either. Sometimes he does, you know, focus on, uh, you know, just more traditional hip-hop topics and stuff. But I love his work. If you happen to be interested, like I said, I do have those videos. They're all on this channel as well. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why am I excited? Well, folks, that's because we're taking a trip back to... Boom! I mean, it, it's just a thing. Boom! We're taking a trip back to Fredo's for their November Burger of the Month, which is the Smoky Black Truffle Bourbon Burger. It's a mouthful. Which consists of black truffle and bourbon Dijonese, two smoked applewood bacon and beef patties, American cheese, grilled onion, lettuce, Spicy honey glazed smoked pepperoni, all on a grilled Toronto pretzel bun. That all sounds fantastic to me. I have reviewed a few things from Fredo's in the past. <clears throat> I love this place. They're one of my favorite spots to get burgers. And they also have, like, I usually focus on their burger stuff. They have solid pizza. They have, like, these crazy mozzarella sticks that are huge. Like, they're an excellent establishment. I love their burgers. Especially because of their, specifically, their uh, bacon and beef patties. Where they literally go over there and take the beef and mix in bacon. Oh, I get it every time. It cost me... What did you cost me? Uh, it was $15.50. So, cost a little bit, but the proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the burger. So, let's take a look at this thing. Get a nice picture for the thumbnail. Boom! It looks like this. Can we... Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, and because this is a local establishment, it is going to go on my sampler platter local love playlist. It's just a playlist for local spots. Let's give it a go. Mm. That, those bacon beef patties make all the difference, man. Like, because the thing is, it's, you know, if you're making a burger, you want to use good beef. Of course. But, it's always nice when you can add a little personality to it. And I find that the best places, the best burger spots, they have personality to their burgers. You can tell 
that it's one of their burgers. If I go to Kuma's, which I've reviewed a number of stuff from them as well, you can tell it's a Kuma's burger. If I go to Burger Antics, which sadly I haven't reviewed anything yet. I, I, I have to make a thing of that. It's been a little bit since I've been there. I can tell that's one of their burgers. With Fredo's, you can tell it's a Fredo's burger. It's big, it's beefy, it's juicy, it's decadent as fuck. That is so good. I love the pepperoni on it. Pepperoni on a burger. I personally think we need to make that more of a national thing. I love the American cheese. Some people don't like American cheese. That, you know, look, you can be wrong all you want. It's fine. And I'm not saying American cheese goes on everything. But on a burger, on a grilled cheese, something like that. Fuck you, Gordon Ramsay. And you're, blah, 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 I don't like American cheese. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> I know you're extremely successful and respectable and... You know, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with that. But on a burger, oh, man, you can't beat it. Even the grilled onions are nice. I'm not the biggest onion guy in the world, but if you grill them, put them in the right circumstance, I can get down with them. They add a nice texture, and they're not, like, abrasive with the onion flavor. This is really good. I like this a lot. Only thing I will say, especially because it's the namesake of the burger, I do personally wish that I was getting more of the black truffle and bourbon Dijonais. It's there. And when you get a proper bite of it, it's like an explosion of flavor. And it's really good. It's interesting. I've never had... I've had a number of bur bourbon burgers this year. I don't know why bourbon burgers have become the thing of 2023, but... I didn't think I did one for Denny's, one for IHOP. Go look those up if you're interested. Um, I've never had one with truffle, though. You know, to sort of counter with the, the bourbon... And when you do get it, the bourbon almost has like a sweetness to it. And truffle has sort of an earthiness to it. And it just kind of, it enriches the flavor. Everything about the burger tastes better when you get a nice mouthful of that. But I feel like they might have gone over there and gone a little bit light on it, unfortunately. Which is a shame because... Mm, it is extremely tasty. I also appreciate a good pretzel bun. In Toronto, they do good stuff. So, all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Am I on a third one? Where does it stand in the pantheon of Fredo's burgers that I've had? Because I've had a number over the years. Um... Would I get it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Here's why. Uh, I think first and foremost, as an asterisk, I would go over there and emphasize, hey, if you could just give me a little extra of the, of the bourbon truffle sauce. Because without it, it's still super tasty. It's still a really good Fredo's burger. The pepperoni is really nice. Like I said, I really like that aspect. It just adds on that nice meaty saltiness. So that's really good just by itself. But the whole experience is made astronomically better when you get the bourbon truffle sauce. So that would be my one asterisk, was I would go over there and emphasize that. Like, I, you can smother it a little bit. You know, sometimes you don't want too much sauce. You know, uh, in this instance, you know, I think, more is, you know, within reason, is better. But if I were going to recommend it to people, yeah, I mean, 
And the nice thing about it is, is that it's, it's interesting. Some of Fredo's Burgers, because it's, you know, kind of a culinary kitchen. That's actually part of what their name is, Fredo's Culinary Kitchen. Sometimes they try stuff where it's a little bit too outside the box for me to recommend to people. Like, I'll try because I do this show and I enjoy trying interesting stuff. This is one where fundamentally it's really not all that unusual. A lot of these flavors are things that already pair with burgers, you know, in that setting, just being put all together. So it's actually one that's pretty approachable, and ultimately it is just a really good burger. Now that said, final thing, where would I consider this in the pantheon of Fredo's burgers that I've had? Sadly, by the way, I'm sorry about that, I just stuck in my teeth. Um, <laughs> sadly, I don't think I would put this one in the upper echelon. There are a few that I've had that were just, like, literally one of the best burgers I've ever had was from Fredo. Sadly, it was before I was doing reviews, but it was phenomenal. This one, it would be the tier just below that. It's a very good burger. It's not going too crazy with things, and the flavors that are there are fantastic. So, I don't have... Again, when my biggest gripe with it is literally just, I would like more sauce, you know it's a solid burger. So, Fredo's... I've never had a bad burger from them. I think they're really good. But like I said, there is certainly a tier structure. And this one's a really good one. It's just not quite in that upper upper tier. Like the Baby Yoda burger. I reviewed that, and that was that was up there. Anyway, final things, folks. Uh, have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Mind you, Metro Rest of the Month. rest of your Folks, you go there and yourselves a truly proper burger-tastic rest of your life. Because burgers are wonderful. They're just the beautiful, simplistic, just... Mm, they're wonderful. You know, unless you're not into burgers. You know. uh, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live in them out there with you in it. And it's rough sometimes, folks. No two ways about it. You know, at the time I'm doing this, it's literally the day after Thanksgiving. I had a really nice Thanksgiving. You know, I got to spend it with wonderful people and stuff. You know, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people I knew, you know, a little bit tight in the purse strings this year and everything like that, had to dial things back. But ultimately, you know, it's about that experience with the people you love and all that good stuff. You know, try to take away the good when you can. But when you can't, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe... You're going to see this video, and maybe you're going to go over there and be like, hey, you know what? There's like this fancy burger spot that's near me that I've never tried before. I need to go try it out. So maybe you go over there, you try it out. Maybe they got Burger of the Month or something like that, and you're like, ah, let's give it a go. And then it's like fantastic and amazing, and it's like the best burger you've ever had. So then you go over there, and you're like, you're like I'm going to go to this place like all the time, and blah, 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 blah. But then you go over there, and you end up gaining like 100 pounds, because burgers will do that to you. That's why we all have to work in moderation, folks. That's, <laughs> mind you, me saying that is a bit, uh, bit ironic. But, you know, dial it back a little bit, maybe hit up the treadmill here and there. You know, counteract it and stuff like that a little bit. You know, let's, let's enjoy ourselves, but let's try to stay healthy when we can. Or conversely, I mean, I'm not your dad. Do what you want. Bye. <laughs>